Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today I am decluttering my closet and showing you exactly how I curate my capsule pieces and declutter my overall wardrobe. I started minimizing my lifestyle about seven years ago now. It started at a time when I was early into adulthood, financially very unstable and really overworked. I was exhausted with constantly feeling like I never had enough while simultaneously having so much to clean up after at the end of a week. And in that overall kind of lifestyle change, I gradually came to just have a capsule wardrobe. Years later, I still love having a small number of pieces, each that I truly love and feel good in. It still feels really good to me to know just how much value I get out of each and every piece I spend my money on. And now I get a lot because all my capsule pieces really work together almost effortlessly. I simply don't find myself chasing trends or keeping status or practicing retail therapy, which helps simplify my life too. That being said, while the idea of a capsule wardrobe has huge pros, maintaining a worthy capsule wardrobe is a lot of work in different ways. Throughout the years, I've had to think long and hard about who I am and what I'm really like, and then adjusted and reassessed my closet a lot to get my wardrobe to where it is now. This to me is what decluttering is. And basically, this process is how I avoid the I have clothes but still nothing to wear thing. So I wanna walk you guys through how I actually do decluttering, my own steps and tips to help you start on yours. And then if you want to see what exactly I decluttered and more on my real thought process, I'll put that in for you guys at the end, like the later part of the video. I know that decluttering, especially if you are just starting, can be a very overwhelming process. So first, if that's you, I want to tell you that you can take it a little at a time. I think that an effective declutter is one that happens regularly in small doses, as opposed to one big giant day of decluttering. This is not a Marie Kondo hoarders episode, and there is absolutely no time pressure to do it all. So in this video, I'm legitimately doing my own decluttering. If you've seen my spring capsule wardrobe video, you might be confused as to why I'm decluttering now. And the reason is that though I really like my capsule, it doesn't feel exactly right to me. I've also recently noticed how full my drawers have been getting and ever so slightly more difficult it's been feeling to put away all my clothes. That is typically when I know it's time for a declutter and I end up feeling that way about four times a year. So when I'm decluttering, I'm really looking through my closet for pieces that I haven't worn recently. For me, that means in the past few months. I'm not planning on getting rid of these things, just review them. So I drag in literally everything, even things that I'm sure I love. And then I sort each of these things by the why I don't wear them. I generally sort into three categories. These categories specifically really help me declutter effectively by keeping me focused on a single goal instead of just my feelings about things and they inform me more about myself and my style at this moment. Now for the first category. Some of these items I know I still like, but I realize I haven't been excited to wear them because they feel either worn, boring, or dingy. So it might be time to replace them with something higher quality or better fitting. In that case, I suggest getting rid of the item first and leaving the hole in your wardrobe. I find that if I have a piece that kind of ticks a box, I'm much more resistant to spending the money to replace it with something I really love. It tends to feel like I don't actually need that piece, but actually having a piece of clothing in your closet that you don't wear is the same as not having the piece at all. So I often choose to live with a hole in my closet so that I can more actively look for the perfect right piece to replace it with down the line. Then some pieces I have might be great quality and actually fit me really nicely, but they just feel meh. And sometimes a professional good cleaning to remove any stains or press my clothes would bring new life back into the piece. Because I have such curated pieces at this point, I actually had quite a few things that were worn down that I decided to send to the cleaners instead of replacing them. 
Now the second category of clothes. Looking at some of the pieces I didn't grab often, I realized some of them just did not fit my personal style anymore. They might be pieces someone gave to me that are really nice and I felt bad throwing out, or they're pieces that I once loved a lot or spent a lot of money on and felt like I could somehow find use for them later. There's not an easy way to do this. It can be hard to part with pieces, especially if they feel like they still have life to them or sentimental attachment. I try to bring my focus back to my goal. Do I want to be maintaining this piece and all the others like it for the rest of eternity? How will it feel to look at your closet and see it full of things that you actually love? Anything that was in good condition and high quality, I decided to put up for sale on Poshmark. Otherwise, I decided to cut the cord and just close my eyes while I put the rest of the items into a donation bag. I did actually keep one or two items that didn't quite fit my current style, but that I could see being back in style eventually and were very high quality items. So I saved those in storage for me to reassess in the future. I recommend being very strict with the items you do this for if you can, or else stored clothes can become overwhelming too. Funny enough for me, there was mostly a giant collection of items that I already decided I was ready to pass on, but never actually sold. This is the last category, cutting your losses. Reselling your beloved items can definitely seem like a really genius idea. You get to recoup a bit of your money and your clothes go to a better home. But what about if you've tried and you haven't been successful selling them? Or if, like me, you had intention to sell them, but didn't actually get around to posting them for sale. Decluttering these junk drawers within my closet reminded me to either take the time to list my good items properly and really give them effort, or to save myself the energy and just bring everything over to the thrift store to sell what I can directly. You might get less money for your items, but for me, the time and energetic peace I get from not having to do all the posting, then packing and shipping the items individually is worth the pay cut. After all of that work, everything that doesn't get sold, I feel good enough about donating. For me, a capsule wardrobe isn't meant for life. It's meant to change with me and overall simplify my life, save me money, and above all, make me feel good when I get dressed every day. What drives me is the concept of being truly happy with every single item that I own and having less to worry about overall when it comes to trends or cleaning up. I'm not overly critical of myself for changing things out. I allow myself without much guilt to buy things that would be impactful to my day to day. And I don't feel bad about the general ebb and flow of things. I hope decluttering makes you feel lighter and overall better about where you're going. And if this is where you sign off, thank you so much for watching. Please let me know in the comments if you have any questions or videos you want to see in the future. Hi guys, so it is the next day after I've decluttered everything and I kind of want to walk you guys through what exactly I decluttered and be able to talk through more of my thought process. I'm really sorry about all the honking if you hear it. I hope that doesn't bother you. So I have this really big stack here. A lot of these clothes in this pile here were things that were sitting in my drawers or in the back of my closet and have been there probably for several months already. So it's time to either sell these items and or bring them to a thrift store. And then anything that I can't sell that way, I'm going to just drop off at Goodwill. So the first item that I decluttered were these long like paper bag shorts I got a couple years ago from COS stores. These shorts I just have not been loving enough and they were quite pricey. I think they were like $50 or $60 or $70, something like that. The next pair of pants, are they the Cohen pant or the Conan pants, something like that. It's a really classic style of trouser that I got from Ritzia. These pants are actually really nice. I have a really long torso so I just moved to super high rise pants in general. All right, this next Next one kind of bums me, but this is beautiful wool and alpaca sweater that I loved. I mean, I've washed it before in the washing machine, but I must have done something different this time because it shrunk and it's just fitting me like a regular fitting sweatshirt. Like my personal style and preference now has just been the baggier thing, so I'm going to pass on this. This next piece, I got these Johnny jeans. Wow, I got this in a size 23. No wonder I have a problem. That's that. The last two things are like vintage dress 
that I got from Japan a few years back. And then the last piece that I was selling on Poshmark is this accordion white skirt. I was obsessed with this. This was like my favorite fancy spring skirt. I'm just sad that I don't give it enough love. So all the stuff that are in this pile here, I feel very good about. However, these items, while they're beautiful, I feel like there's something wrong with each of these that like I just can't let someone spend their good money on it. I'll just kind of summarize what's in here. This sweater dress has a humongous oil stain. It's a sweater from Maritzia. Unfortunately, I was stupid and shrunk it. Like a matching dress with my daughter that she really loves me to wear. Top my mom made me that is just way too big. Um, a pajama set that my mother-in-law gave me for Christmas that I just, I know I'm not gonna wear. Things that I've had a hard time letting go of and just like kind of miscellaneous pieces. The last two items that I have folded are these two Levi wedgie fit jeans. My friend actually gave them to me and I really wanted to like them, but to have been in my drawers not being used for the past like year, I decided to ask her if she wants these back and she does. So I'm gonna send these off. And then I want to take you guys through some of the stuff that I'm keeping in my closet, but in the decluttering process that I wasn't reaching for a lot. One of those items is my tunic length sweater. I got lipstick on it a while back and I just wasn't able to get it out. Give it like one more, you know, solid try before I pass on this sweater. Just yesterday, I got lipstick on my new Cypress sweater. That hopefully should be coming out in the dry cleaners. Some of you have asked me about my other white blouse. The collar has gotten so dingy and dark from makeup, like old makeup. Another piece that I really want to get freshened up is my black culottes. You really have seen this in every outfit that I wear. I'm never replacing these, but I do feel like they could use a really solid pressing. They're a little bit meh and dingy. Yeah, I actually have a ton of stains on this that I hadn't really noticed because I haven't been wearing it a lot. I think stains on jeans are just like a no-go. And the last thing that I'm gonna get spruced up with the dry cleaners is my classic white t-shirt. This is just truly my favorite white t-shirt that I've ever found or ever owned. So I'm really hoping the dry cleaner can get some of this like dinginess off so that I can keep the shirt just a little bit longer. Okay, so that is everything that I've decluttered in my closet. Let me do a quick count. That is about 27 or 28 pieces for my wardrobe, which is pretty crazy to me. I, I like didn't even think that I owned that many pieces to be honest. I'm really happy I did the declutter and I want to thank you guys for suggesting it because I probably, I wasn't like really thinking about doing a declutter. I already feel so much better. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys again so much for watching and 